Hey everybody, it's Chaz at the Cooper Group, and we are at Lowercase Books today with Bryce. Uh, so the location has been here, you've been here for a little over a year now, you said? Mm-hmm, that's right. Okay, and, and all the books that are in the bookstore here, you have hand-selected. That's also correct, yes. Okay. And you have quite a collection here. I do, thank you. Yeah, and the store looks great too. You said you've done quite a few renovations here. That's right. To the, get to where we are now. The lights, the floor, all the, uh, you know, floor transitions, um, fixing the walls. Yeah, there's a lot of work done. Yeah, it looks great. And yeah. so can you tell everybody where we're at, like the address or what, uh, this what we This is uh, 1530 Washington Avenue in a Park Ridge neighborhood. So we're basically at the intersection of Winona and Washington. So a lot of people know Cherry Street because there's an exit. Um, we're on the other end of the neighborhood, um, closer to Broadway. Yeah, so Hall of Fame's just right over your That's couple right. blocks off yeah. of it. Yeah, you could walk to Fourth and Gill. Yeah, yeah. well, when you turn in here, I guess the, the Fourth and Gill Bridge, more or less, right there. It's right. along with all the, the paintings. That's right, anyway. yeah. And I know you said that you use the venue occasionally for, while your primary focus is for books, that you also use the, the area for a bit of a venue for music, different book clubs and things of that nature as well, right? Yeah, yeah, we've had different events and like, uh, we have a, 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 some readers, uh, sorry, like a literary reading uh, later in the month. We have a show tonight. Uh, we have a movie night tomorrow, which is showing some short films. Okay. And so where would folks find out about um, any special events or any things you have going on? I post a calendar on my website. Uh, it's an incredibly Spartan website. Um, I also post about events on Instagram, um, but I'm not that disciplined about that part of it. Okay. So on the website would probably be the, the best, but yeah, Instagram website's a good well. way to learn. Yeah. Sounds good. And now tell me just again, how is it that you, you came to have the bookstore here? Um, I quit my job and I didn't want to get another job. Right. Um, I've always, uh, had too many books and I've always gone to bookstores. I have a lot of opinions about bookstores and books. Um, so it, it wasn't the most rational decision. Um, I just started amassing books, um, from thrift stores and from library sales in about four or five States, including Tennessee. And, um, the hardest part, was finding a location, um, and um, that was like a lot of calling, looking at a tax assessor website, and having people like not answer my phone calls. Basically, mm -hmm. um, it, I didn't find anything on Zillow or anything like that. Um, I didn't have a lot of luck, but um, like this, this location wasn't listed. This is just me looking it up and calling. Oh, it seems like all your calls paid off in the end. It seems like a really great space and I really like what you've done with it and all the books you've got, you know, all yeah. that sort of thing. So how long did you have the idea for a bookstore then before, before it actually came to be it? Oh, I mean, it was a really, really soft idea for years. Yeah. Um, and it was, gosh, I mean, only about six months before I opened it. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, great. Well, guys, just come on out and check it out. So it's lowercase books, and check them out on their website and all that sort of thing, and just come on down. And if you have any questions for us, just let us know. Thanks. Okay.